In this video, we will discuss the problem case specific sorting of strings. So, the problem says that we will be given a string which will consist of the uppercase and lowercase characters, and our task is to sort the uppercase and the lowercase characters separately such that if the ith place originally had a uppercase character, then it should not have a lowercase character after being sorted, and vice versa. So, let's take an example first of all. Suppose that the string that was given to us was something like this. Suppose we had Y, then A, then we had D, then we had capital A, okay, then we had B. So, in this string, what you have to do is you have to sort, like you can see that some lowercase characters are given, some uppercase characters are given. So, basically, what you need to do is you need to sort it in such a way such that the final number that you get, the final uh, string that you get is sorted and if there is a lowercase character at a particular position, then in the sorted answer also, there should be a lowercase character only. So, if I see, so Y, A and B are small case characters and D and A are capital case characters, right? So, if in this case, if I see, so basically we can see that A, B, Y, A, B, first A, B, A will come, then B will, B will come, then Y will come. And if I see the sorted order for the uppercase character, so it will be nothing but A and D, okay? Now, when I find that there is a small character at this position, so, I'll place a small a here. Then after that, I find that there's another small character. So, I'll uh, place a small b because this is the next character here. After this, I see that there is a capital character. So, I'll place a here, right? Then I see that there is a capital character. So, I'll place d here. After this, when I find uh, that there is a lowercase character, so I'll place a lowercase character y here. So, the answer for this will be a, b, a, d and then y. So, you can see that all the positions where we are having smaller case character, lower case characters, there we are having the smaller case characters only and all the positions where we had the bigger like upper case characters, there we are having the upper case characters but in sorted order. So, now looking at this solution, what comes to your mind? Like the very basic thing that comes to our mind and the brute approach you can say or the normal approach that comes to our mind is nothing but sorting, correct? But how do we sort? Exactly. So, what we can do here is, we can simply say that first of all, we can store in a list or in a vector, we can store, we can have two lists basically. First list will consist of the lowercase characters, second list will consist of the uppercase characters. So, we can simply iterate through the string, through the, through the string, through each and every character one by one. And what we can do is, whenever we encounter a lowercase character, we can store it in the lower, like we can store the characters in a lower, like lowercase vector one by one, okay. Whenever we apply, uh, whenever we get a uh, uppercase character, so we can store it in a uppercase array. After that, we can simply sort them. So when I sort, so it, this becomes a, b, and y. Okay, uh, like with commas, you can see, like this will be included in a vector basically or a list. All right. Then after that, I sort this, so it becomes a, d. Right. So I'll have one pointer here and another pointer here. After this, what we will do is we'll start iterating through the string. And we will see what is the ith character. So, if the ith character is a lowercase character, then I will replace it with a lowercase character but in sort, but from the array which is sorted. So, I will have a here, right. After I have put a, after I have used a, so basically I need to move forward and I will be using b next time, okay. The next character I will be using. So, if like I get a small a here, so I am getting a lowercase character. So, I will use the corresponding lowercase uh, character in the sorted format. So, I will use b here. Then when I, uh, after that, I will also move my pointer from uh, B to the next character that is Y to the next index. Then I get a D here. So that's an uppercase character. So I'll use the capital A here. After that, I get a cap capital A. Okay. So before, uh, after using the capital A, I'll go to capital D. And then when I encounter a capital A, so I'll apply the capital D here. Now you will observe that uh, this is string, uh, the uppercase characters are exhausted now. And that is also the case here. Now when I get the B part here, so, correspondingly, which character will I have? I'll definitely have Y here. So, I'll store Y here. And this is how I can do it. But this approach will take order of N log of N time, which is quite a lot. And if we will look at the question or the problem statement, so we will be able to observe this part that the question this says that you have to do in it in order of N space and order of one, like order of N time and order of one space. So, can we optimize this thing further? Yes, we can definitely optimize this thing further by applying certain observations here, right? So, suppose this thing has been given. So, how can we optimize? So, we can basically say that we can do what? Instead of taking the arrays, instead of taking the vectors, we can declare a lowercase uh, lower vector, right? Lowercase array. 
that will consist of 26 indexes 26 different indexes starting from 0 1 up till 25 okay 0 1 2 up till 25 why because i am saying here that 0 will represent capital a like 0 will represent small a or uh, like basically i'll have two arrays first of all let me draw the array so this will be the lower case and this will be the upper case array upper case array will look something like this like it it will also have the indexes from 0 1 2 uh, 3 up till 25 okay so basically what will happen when i get a capital a right when when i get a small a character right when i when i get a when when i get when i'll get a lower case character okay so when i subtract a lower case character with a then what does it give like when i get a i subtract a with a so i'll get zero uh, so basically i'm planning to store the frequencies in of the lower case characters in the lower array okay when i get b so i'll do b minus a what do i get i get one when i get c i do c minus a the character c minus a what do i get i get two similarly when i do when i get z i do z minus a what do i get i get nothing but 25 so that means that from 0 to 25 i can store all the characters frequency in the lower case character i can keep on updating the frequencies one by one correct and i'll show this to you as well within some seconds right so this this way i'll be updating the lower case uh, frequency right the frequency of the lower case characters okay and now you can understand that i'll be basically standing here in the starting and standing here in the starting right uh, you can observe this thing right you can get this intuition for it similarly if i get an upper case character right so i will do what if the upper case character is d if i do d minus a so it will give me nothing but 3 if i do a minus a what will i get i'll get 0 so a will be stored at the 0th index if i do b minus a what do i get i get 1 similarly if i do z minus a capital z minus a so i'll get what i'll get nothing but 25 so from 0 till 25 the frequencies uh, stored the indexes will indicate nothing but uh, capital a to capital z right uh, so this part indicates uh, small a small b small c like this up till small z and this part indicates capital a capital b up till the capital z right so that's how i'm going to store the frequency right uh, once i store the frequency so the task becomes very very easy for us right why because what we will be doing here is uh, we will simply say that right after this part is done so uh, let's say let's say that, that i update the frequencies as well right uh, so if i update so y will be present at the index 24 so let's say y like all the values in between like uh, let's quickly jump into the frequency part so first of all i'll have y so y's frequency will be 1 so 24th frequency this mark this will be marked as 1 this will be marked as 0 and i'm not drawing till 25 so i'll get character a so i'll increase its frequency by one if one more a was present then i would i have increased the frequency by one more time right uh, after this if i get a capital d so in this case i'll have c and d will be present at the index number three so its frequency will increase by one right uh, after this uh, i'll have a so a's frequency will be there zero zero and the rest of the remaining parts will be zero only, right now in the in the capital carrot and for b also i'll increase the frequency by one so that's how it's gonna look like now i can observe that what i will be doing here is I'll be initially standing my i at the starting of the lower case array, right? Low uh, frequency of the lower array, and I'll be having j standing here. And what I will do is I'll I'll have a k that will point uh, that will be moving through the string. So when I get a lower case character here, right? When I get a lower case character here, so I want to replace it with a lower case character but in sorted order. So since I'm starting from the uh, zeroth index of the string, uh, zeroth index of the lower case array. And the zeroth index of the uppercase array. So obviously the characters that I'll get, if the frequency is greater than zero, then I'll be using them. Correct? If the frequency is zero, then I'll keep on moving them, moving through them one by one. So when I get when I get this uh, when I get uh, a lowercase character, so I'll use this a, right? When I use this a, so I'll put a here. Now I'll decrease the frequency by one, so it becomes zero, right? It becomes zero. After this, when I move forward, so when I move to this character, so what happens? Uh, when I move to this character, so this character is a lowercase character again. So do I have like when I'm standing at a? Uh, that is i is equal to zero. So do I have in the lower case, lower array? So do I have uh, a frequency a's frequency left? No. So in that case, I'll move forward, right? I'll move forward until I get the frequency which is greater than zero. So I'll get I'll go to b and b has the frequency. So I'll say that okay, let's place b here and let's decrease the frequency of b by one. So b's frequency becomes zero. Right after this, what will happen? Like all the internal frequencies, you know, that are zero, right? After that, when I move to d, so I see that it's a uppercase character. So if it's an uppercase character. So in that case, what I need to do is I need to iterate through the uppercase array, frequency array. So I'll I'll have one placed here, right? When I, once I have placed one here, because once uh, like the frequency of the zeroth character, the zeroth index was one, so that means a was present. So now I'll update its frequency and I'll decrease it by one, so it becomes zero. After that, what will happen? I'll move to the next character. So when I move to the next character, I move to a. When I move to this a, that's an uppercase character. 
so i'll iterate through the upper upper array right when i iterate so a's frequency is zero so i'll move my j so j moves here then b's frequency is also zero c's frequency is also zero so j moves here then when i move to the third uh, like index i j is equal to three then the frequency is one and that is nothing but the element d so that element i'll place basically how i'll place so if i do i plus a okay so if i value is zero then i'll get zero plus a will give me a right uh like uh, in terms of numericals values if i do one plus b right when i value is one index i value is one or j value is one something like that then i'll get uh then i plus a if i like one plus a if i do so if i do one plus a so i'll get nothing but b if i do two plus uh, a then i'll get nothing but c so that's how i'm going to get the characters one by one right so once i have done with this so after this i'll change the frequency of d as well and once i change it so its frequency now becomes zero right and after this what will happen after this i will move to the another character that, that is a lower case character so i see that i was standing at uh, the index i is equal to one and i do not have any frequency so i'll move forward move forward until uh, the frequency becomes greater than zero so i'll move forward through cde that is through index two three four five six until the index 24 that is where y is present actually it's in its frequency is one right so after that i'll place y and i'll decrease the frequency by one so it becomes zero and after this we have and ended our iteration so we can simply return this string that's how we are going to do it now since we are traversing through the array so you will say that space is taken like 26 space is taken for this 26 space is taken for this as well but that's constant space right so the space complexity for us would be constant right it would be nothing but order of one and if we consider the time complexity for this approach so it would be nothing but order of n because we are just iterating through the string and nothing else is being done because uh, the complexity for iterating through, the, through this frequency array which is of size 26 and 26 each that's very very less right now let's try and write the code for this approach in the language so what we'll be doing here is uh, we'll basically declare the vector of uh, int that is the frequency of the lower case for the 26 characters initially marking them as zero and for the upper case as well so i'll mark them for the upper case and uh, for the 26 characters i'll mark it as zero right after this what i will do is i'll start iterating so for int uh, i'll start from zero i is lesser than the n and i plus plus and i'll check I, i'll check i'll simply check that if the current uh, character is lying in the range uh, small a to small z right if uh, if str of i is greater or equal to a and is lesser str of i is lesser or equal to small z so if it's a lowercase characters then i'll increase its uh, corresponding frequency in the lowercase array right uh, so what I'll do is str of i minus a as I discussed already. After this part is done, so else if it's an uppercase character, right? If it's an uppercase character, then I need to increase the corresponding frequency of the character in the uppercase array. So what I'll do is I'll say that I'll write else upper and str of i minus the capital character a, right? After this part is done, uh, so what we will be doing furthermore is that will be marking our i as 0 and j as 0 so i is equal to 0 will indicate for the lower case frequency and uh, j is equal to 0 will be pointer in the upper case right after this what i will do is i'll uh, i'll have a k k starts from 0 k is lesser than n uh, k is lesser than the size of the string and then k plus plus is what we can do uh, so what i will be doing here is if the suppose the str of uh, k if the current character uh, k is uh, is greater equal if it's a lower case character right if it's uh, lying in this range if str of k is this and str of k is lesser equal to the z right so in that case what will i do uh, i'll simply say that first of all i need to iterate through the lower case character right so first of all i need to uh, like there might be a situation that currently if i is pointing to the lower case frequency array so it might be pointing to some zeros so i need to skip those zeros so if the frequency of the lower of i is equal equal to zero in that case i'll simply do i plus plus i'll keep on moving forward right after this if i've used the particular character so if i'm standing after i come out of the while loop so i'll be standing at a character which will be having the frequency so i'll decrease its frequency by one so i'll do lower uh, of i minus minus and then i'll say that str of k uh, like i'll say that okay the kth character in the string str will be nothing but uh, since it was lower so I, it will be nothing but small a plus i right after this uh, part is done so we'll go to the else right uh, in the else part we'll consider the upper case same situation for the upper case so we'll say that okay if it's an upper case character so we'll say that if the upper of j right if the if the, if at the jth index if it's a zero if there are several zeros then we need to move through them right and then if we encounter if whenever we reach the when the to a uh, index which is not zero so in that case uh, i'll use it and i'll uh, i'll use it and i'll mark
of uh, k the kth character would be nothing but it would be a plus uh, plus uh, cap so that's how i'm going to store and once it's stored so i can simply return the string str let's try and quickly compile the code to see if it works on the samples or not okay so we are getting a little bit of error here why are we getting this error so we might have made some mistake somewhere while writing the code so we are not getting why here why is that so so if the str of i okay so what are we making mistake why are we making a mistake here so if we see here so we are getting rest of the output as the same or not uh, i think that we might not be getting that okay so in this case what we should do is uh, let's let's try and figure it out so initially i have uh, lower array uh, initially everybody is marked as zero then i iterate through it and if str of i is greater or equal to a and the str of i is lesser or equal to z if it's lower case then i increase the frequency in the okay i have not increased the frequency right i was not increasing the frequency that was one of the situations so i'll increase the frequency i was i was not writing a plus per se right so i should have increased the frequency plus plus should have been written so basically now the lower index array will have the frequency increase so we're getting the same expected output let's try and compile this uh, submit this code finally for all the test cases and see okay so it gives us a wrong answer why does it give us a wrong answer all right so what mistake have we made here if we will see this part so it says that if we have this thing so we are not getting the exact same output for it and d e i r f r okay so u x i okay and for the input x i should be there and i am giving a different output compared to that okay so we are making some mistake here let's try and see what mistake we are making here okay k is lesser than i should have written k is lesser than n sorry now this was the mistake uh rest i think it should get accepted so there was a mistake in terms of writing i should have written k is less than n now it should work on all the samples okay so you can see that it is working on all the samples so in case if you understood this simple explanation make sure to hit the like button comment down understood as well thank you for watching this video